Good flipping morning to you. It's me again, ready for another day of the vlog. Um, what am I doing today? You may be asking. Well, today got some got some things going on. Something pretty good. Well, first off, I'll be well. First off, I might be going for a walk. You know, that's keyword. Um, well, just a quick four miles, I guess. Yeah. Second one, second one, second information of the day is um, I'll be unboxing my mystery product from yesterday, which I bought yesterday. Yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be pretty good. You know. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I uh, I'll see. It, it, I, until then, I'll see you in a jump cut. We're over here in uh, Talton now. We just. Parks outside the booths here in the Towson. We're going to be do Hesketh Bank. We're doing we're doing a walk around Hesketh Bank near Towson. Um, it's four miles long. It's packed full of some stuff. I might show you in the, in the junk cut, you know. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, so it's all good. Until then, see you in the junk cut. And. We're coming up now to a graveyard. Um, you know, it's a, it's, you gotta respect this. You gotta re be respectful in here. So, you know, I mean, I'll try and walk slow and stuff, and keep my voice down because that's that's what the respectful thing to do, right? You know, uh, there's a church right there. A bit minimalist, but minimalist minimalism is good in this day and age. You know. Um, Yes, so just, and look, holy cow, there's lambs already. Oh, okay guys, hold on. As you can clearly see, we have the first lambs of the season. Yes, my lads, spring is right round the corner. It's not going to leave for some time. Alright, so we're going to turn the uh, camera off whilst I'm going through the graveyard, you know, just be a bit respectful and all. Um, so then I'll see you soon. We've gone on from the church now, and uh, like to point out this, these big boats in, in this dockyard. It's not every day Alex, Alex sees a dockyard whilst on his walk. Okay, just doing a short clip to show you that this thin black line in the centre of my shot is Blackpool Tower. I mean, we're not, we're not near Blackpool, we're close to Southport, but the fact you can see it from here, I mean, wow, geez louise, that is a testament to how clear the area is now today, you know. Um, well, you know, it's, uh, yeah. So anyway, it's all I've got to say for now. I'll see y'all very soon. We're now walking on what is locally known is Dead House Lane. Why is it named Dead House Lane? Oh, simple thing, simple actually. There's allegedly a house on, uh, no there is a house on this lane called the Dead House. Yes I know, sounds spooky, sounds like some sort of horror movie in the making, yes I know. But listen, okay, it's a, it actually used to be a morgue where People would take the de dead bodies and stuff, you know. Uh, you know, it's uh, quite grim. The, what the the dead house, you know. Um, anyway, we're walking along Dead House Lane in an attempt to find the dead house. But well, no, we're just walking here because it's on the walk path. I mean, also we're trying to find out the location of. The dead house, I might just saw it, but that could just be trees. Um, anyway, I'll see you in a couple of seconds. Um, we're not at the dead house just yet, but we're getting a sinister. There are a lot of twisted trees and grasping bushes. It's a very spooky, terrifying experience. Well, is that the dead house up there? Oh, okay. Keep moving along, because the dead house, we had, we, the dead house is uh, somewhere here. We had to stop recording for a little bit because um, 
those people, there was a truck coming along, I don't think you would have appreciated being vlogged. Oh, hey up, I see something. I see something, Mum. It could be the dead house. Okay, it's not a dead house, it's just a random bit of metal plating put onto a tree. Unless, unless the tree is the dead house? I don't know. Um, I don't know, maybe they've knocked it down, don't you think? Possible. Yeah. Which is a shame, because this looks like quite a good it's spooky like place. Could have been there, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, hey up, I think I can see it. Yeah, I can see the dead house, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is it, hold on to the edge of your seats. Well, if you have a seat, if you sat down, that is, I mean, why are you watching my YouTube videos stood up unless you're on a crowded bus, that is, in which case, hold on to the edge of your bus bar, because, wow, this is gonna get pretty spooky kooky. Where's my coot? Oh. Um, is that the dead house? It is. Dead house identity confirmed. Here it is, lads. Do not park in front of these gates. I say the brickwork's a bit too fresh. For the... It's not the dead house. That's part of the substation. I think it's still part of the substation. No thing of any rubbish of any kind will be prosecuted. Alright, so I think so one of these two buildings could possibly be the dead house. No, this is Marsh Road Electricity Substation. Well, it's been not. Is this one of it? It is? Yeah. Okay, well, okay, so now this is the dead house. Um, yes, yeah, this is a very long clip we're doing here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, it's completely unedited. Um, this is it. This used to be a morgue, which is why it's called the Dead House. It's very spooky, very grim. You know, it's very unfortunate. Um, well, I, yeah. Anyway, we've seen our Dead House. We'll proceed with the walk now, and um, I'll see y'all in a jump cut. Well, back from a walk now, and, um, and you know what that means? It's time for the big unboxing, the surprise product. But what will it be? Well, I can now confirm to you that we have bought a min a English ration pack, like a 24 hour ration pack, as created by the British Ministry of Defence. Um, I'm not sure if it's in reverse for you or not, but it is for me. But it's, as you can see, it's ration pack 9. There's about at least 20 or 30 of these, you know, a lot of variation on what you can get in these particular boxes. Um, so, let's just, let's just now get this camera, let's just divert it away from my face for the moment. And we're going to cut, take it to the top of this box. Got some scissors. Always be careful with scissors uh, if you're like a child and you're watching this, you know. Um, you gotta be careful with these, right? Don't make sure you're you're being supervised. I mean, this is if you're being if you're a child. If you're an adult, probably seek supervision anyway. But you know I me, mean, I can't. I don't really have authority over an adult. You know, I mean, unless they're like my uh, employee, my employer, no employee. I meant, I mean. I don't really have authority over my employer. I mean, that's not how it works. Anyway, so there's a lot, whole lot of uh, military stuff in here. I'll uh, might be too long to go into right now. So instead, I'll just take you through what's in the box. So we got it open now. Going to show you all what's good. Hold on, it's a bit of a show y'all what's in the box including some Kenko Kenko tea Milicano I don't know so I'm boxing it now and there you go that's what it looks like 
And now I'm gonna put you back down. Well, sorry, put the stuff out and show you all, all on the table. Forgive this jerkiness. This is just me. Not just me. Just getting in a good position. Now, the first thing out of this here box is your tea, your tea, and, your tea and stuff like your tea and sugar and all that. And uh, you can see at the front, there's actually some dental chewing gum, you know, that, that's going to be useful out there, you know. Um, say you're like, out there, you probably can't get access to a toothbrush or toothpaste. Could be useful. Um, this is, all of this is a genuine ration pack designed by the Ministry of, I always say the Ministry of Magic, I meant the Ministry of Defence, you know, to help the soldiers, you know, um... You help the soldiers get remain all neutrified, you know. Um, so I got the uh, the basic cup of tea stuff and uh, that. And the next thing we got is a caramel flavored instant hot chocolate drink with sugars and sweetener. The first thing you will notice from this pack is that a lot of this has been created by the brand Beyond the Beaten Track, you know. Um, uh, you know, it's outdoor provisions that go the extra mile. Um, I sure do a lot of these for the Ministry of Defence. Um, and then what we're going to get out next? A fruit pocket, loving fruit. I guess that's kind of like a Capri Sun. Um, you know, I mean, soldiers got to got to get some Capri Sun. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay. So I'm going to put that there. There. Um, we also have squeeze peanut butter. Hmm. Yeah, squeeze peanut butter. That's also very good. I hope they have some squeeze jet jam as well. Can't have peanut butter without jam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I put that aside. I put that on you. And now we come we come to a biscuit. Cereal bar, cookies and cream flavour. Um. As you can see here, it's a. All of this, I mean, I'm going to say it again, all of this is a genuine box, this is a genuine stuff, I uh, bought this from a military surplus store in Morecambe, you know, um, if, you do, if you're in Morecambe I recommend looking at it, um, I forgot what it's called, but you know, it's a good place. This one is a drink powder, a grapefruit flavoured drink powder, beverage powder, you know, it's a... Um, it's good stuff this. I mean I I actually tried a military ration, like another one, not the same number nine one. It's a different version. Yes. Okay, so put that in there. No, okay. In fact I'll move it here. Okay. And uh a Slazinger S1 sports drink, orange flavour. Just add to five hundred milliliters of water. Oops, sorry. You know, so if you got a jug out there, you know, this will be the thing for you. Um, put that there. Great fruit flavour, fruit flavoured boiled sweets. Um, can't really see the description, but you can have a look. You know, just some some little fiddly snack for you for the soldiers to nibble on. Um, Okay, just put that on top. No, I'll put that here. Um, oh, I got a double bill here. Mini bike pretzels. Hmm, pretzels. I mean, this is not, this is a, you know it's a, you know it's good pretzels. I like me some pretzels. Um, I will say that this this bag that I'm unboxing now, this box, you know, it's not the it's not the only version of the military ration box. You know. Um, there are other versions. There are there are tons of choices. You know, I mean, so, mo pretty much, pretty much what's consistent is the uh, the the bag of tea products. You know, um, that's like the pretty much the one constant throughout them all. You know. Um, okay, this is a black currant drink powder. You know, similar to the grapefruit one. Um, yeah, I put that. I lump that down. Here actually, hold on, let me just fiddle things about. 
and just how to yeah so I can fit things you know I'll just put the pretzels here okay now an apple cinnamon cereal bar and that's a from the same brand I believe as the cookies and cream flavor cereal bar or it's good to have cereal bars um, oh I think we're coming to the first of the okay this is not Nut Walker Peanuts, roasted and salted. Hmm, it's quite. Yeah, it must be hard to get into. I mean, when I when I had last had one of these, it came in a ring pull tin rather than a a vacuum sealed box a bag. I think this is vacuum sealed. I'm guessing it is. Um, I'll put that here. Okay, I mean, probably tired of me saying that. Oh, sweet cherry beverage powder. Yeah, that's another drink powder. It's uh, not sure you can see it, but here you go. It's uh, don't have time to read out all the other stuff as well. Hold on. Sultanas, cranberries, and raisins fruit mix. Of course, your soldiers need your five a day, and you can't usually fit all the fruit and vegetables into one little box like this. Um, just film the box so you can see how, yeah. Still, it's surprising how much they've managed to fit. You know, um, yeah. I wouldn't mind. You know, if it were, if this wasn't just for military, I wouldn't mind getting a subscription for these. You know, I mean, you know, I wouldn't mind getting a subscription to these ration packs. But then, if I had to get a subscription, I probably would have to go out and start shooting people for the military. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm digressing. Um, mixed berry oat biscuits. Hmm. Love your love your oats, all right? Oat McDonald, Hall of Farm, E I E I O. Okay. And of course tissues. You know, got to wipe your mouth. Got to wipe other things. You know, stuff like that. It's very good. You know, wiping. Good at wiping. Yes. Oh, and I think we're getting to the main meat. This is it. The first. Of the main courses, this is beyond the beaten track. Sweet and sour chicken with pasta. Never had sweet. I don't think I've ever had sweet and sour chicken before, so I don't know what that tastes like. I'm looking forward to it though. I mean, I'll be, I'll be uh, cooking these. I'll be like cooking these like main meals for uh, in another video. I'm afraid I can't fit it into today's video. I uh, just look that there. Okay. Um well, second one. This is the chunky bean and smoked bacon soup. Delicious. Feels absolutely delicious. There you go. There you go. Um Yeah, so this is just one of the many tens of options awaiting you as a soldier in the military. And this is the chunky bean and smoked bacon soup, you know. It all looks absolutely awesome. Um, here you go, there's another pouch soup. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna move these nuts to the side. Um, uh, and this is the Ovifo tuna lime and pepper. This is a small package. Here we go. That's uh, how it looks. Put that there. I think we're getting quite close to the bottom. Oh, Orifo fruit cocktail in white syrup. Hmm, didn't get this. Didn't get the desserts like this in the uh, other ration box I had. Um, there we go. Just going to put that there. And what's this? Hot original pepper sauce. Sit for you. I'll just put that here. And last but certainly not least, a 24 hour feedback and ration feedback and prize draw entry form. So, you know, it's a, basically a list of what's in here. Um, but, you know, I mean, it's also. Um, it's basically a survey. Um, what you liked, you, what you liked a lot, what you just liked or you didn't like, 
you know, I guess you can, um, yeah, you can get some feedback on these, you know, um, yeah, it looks quite, it looks quite good, um, so that's the leaflet, I'll just put that under where the tripod is, because now we've got it all unpacked, unboxed, and I'm going to show you a panorama of what was in that box. This is what's supposed to hold a man for 24 hours in the British military. They sure feed you quite a bit. You know, it looks quite delicious. You know, I mean, if I wasn't so afraid of getting shot, I joined the military just to have these. Um, yeah, it looks absolutely delicious, delectable and flavoursome. Um, yeah, so that's about it's about there we go. Just gonna do one more pan over. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, anyway, that's pretty much all we have time for today. Um, I, do be sh if you enjoy this video, do be sure to like it and subscribe to it, um, and share it on your Facebook and Twitter. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's uh, all I've got to say. Hopefully, I have a great day tomorrow as well. You know, um, till then, see y'all tomorrow.